Witcher 2, Assassins of Kings, Geralt Chapter Rivia, 2. Ready for the ride of your life. Uh, don't remember Can't what the name of this quest me. is, but a mutant, like this kid. it is. An ordinary so, man would never okay, what, what happened was, in the last video, you fought you these two assassins that tried to kill Hensel. Now you get to go through the assassins' memories, properties. the ones that you killed, welcome, through some crazy vision. spell that yeah, Deathmold well, has set up. So, the idea is really cool. Because uh, you get to live out uh, what the assassin was doing prior to the assassination attempt. Actually ending in a fight with Geralt that I don't believe you can win. I need to do something. I never really tried to win. Have a drink, plow a girl, do something to relax. So maybe it is possible to actually win that fight and then something weird happens. But before you can get to that, you need to make the Gadwall potion. Which you can get the recipe and I believe all the ingredients from this guy right here. So if you don't have the recipe already, you should you should buy it. You need it for this quest. It's required to drink the potion before you even start uh, delving into the memories. So, unfortunately, you have to do this. Yeah, you only need one uh, dose of it, so don't bother making more if you can. So after you drink the potion, you need to talk to Death Mold, and he will send you back into the Assassin's memories. Now, the thing about the memories when you're there is you have to play them out in a very specific way or else you'll be ripped out of them Wonderful. back to Blue dream can be very useful, uh, although it only lets well, you pretty much what you're seeing now hope it's worth it pay attention to every detail Places, now names, there are three parts to this to this memory Let's I begin. guess maybe four if you count the boss fight with Geralt as a separate one but, uh, the middle section is the most difficult of this and you'll see in a couple minutes I nearly got lost in that fog right, um, nobody will find us here unless I text Bergen despite the mist okay I thought the uh, text had their name oh no it says off so you know what, I actually don't know which one you are. Um, the two assassins are named Serret and Ox. Um, I don't know which one is which. It, it really doesn't come up too much after this, considering one's dead and I think the other just leaves or is killed sometime during the course um, before the end of the game. So the first part of the memories, before you enter their hideout, uh, you're just fighting these harpies that are outside of their hideout. Uh, I think the only way you can fail this is if you run through the mist. So don't run through the mist and you should be fine. Now after you get into the hideout is when it gets difficult. And by difficult I mean more annoying than anything. So, since you have to reenact these memories in a specific way, uh, you cannot step on any of the traps in here. And there's a lot of bear traps. Or... I don't know what their name for it is, but it's obviously... I mean, it looks like, it looks like a standard bear trap. I love these traps. I know, I do too. Now, I'm not sure how easy it is they are to see on... The video, You've seen him. but if you he follow He's um, He's the one, one of the your buddy in front of you here, he'll basically lead you something. past all of them. Been skulking in these caves like and that. these that things kind of work on. If you step on them, you get knocked back out of the memory. Uh, luckily, if you get knocked out of the memory during this section, 
on the uh, you're perfectly fine. If it happens after the conversation with Letho, uh, you cannot go back into the assassin's memories because you already know the location of their hideout. There's no point in going further. I believe there's either, well probably, there's a Steam achievement and a regular 360 achievement for going through this section without being, like, go, like getting to the, the Geralt boss fight. So, uh, after this conversation, you're going to be transported to the camp, like, probably a few minutes before you fight Geralt, and then you get into the fight, and that'll be the end of this. I'd rather Hensel used others as his lackeys. With his amnesia, we're safe. Not so. That's exactly what makes him so dangerous. Yeah. I kind of like the idea of this quest. Just going Especially through someone's memories to find out information that you need. Unfortunately, stuff like this, I believe, is considered either illegal or kind of blasphemous in in their world because this is, I believe, classified as necromancy, which is why Death Mold's really into it because he's really creepy. There's no two ways around. Death Mold is really disturbing sometimes. We'll meet again soon if you're careful. To drink a jug of wine and laugh about it. Who knows? All right, so now we're heading to. Um, Henselt's camp, and I believe you only have to kill one guard, and then it's and then you just get brought into the boss fight with Geralt. Oh. It's hard to say boss fight when you're meant to lose. This area can be tricky because they really don't explain what you're supposed to do at all. Uh, you just got to figure it out. You can save at this point, so if something goes wrong and you want to see how this turns out, you can just reload your save in here. So, it turns out all you have to do is that, and it'll just transport you to the fight with Geralt. Don't know why they didn't really explain that part. Oh, right, you go through these underground tunnels first. Um... Uh, there's nothing special in here. I don't even think there's enemies. You just have to walk forward, pretty much. Yeah. Alright, I, I was right on that. Oh cool, you also get to fight some guards first. I believe you can roll in this form. I know a lot of times when you take control of a, of a character that isn't Geralt, they... Yeah, you can roll. They don't know how to roll for some reason. I don't know why. Well... Actually, trying to do a, a dive roll in full armor, I figured it would be incredibly difficult. Or you'd probably destroy your back when you land. And since witches don't really carry full plate mail armor or anything like that, something a knight would actually have. I guess having the freedom to roll around all over places. Just kinda theirs. The guards aren't that bad. They're standard uh, shield-bearing enemies and uh, two-handed enemies. So nothing too complicated. You, you even have your buddy to draw some of the fire. That's all of them. What is it? I thought I saw Sheila. Let's go. So yeah. Now you fight Geralt, and he does very little of what you do in the boss fight before this. And that's it. 
I'm out. 